We are now going to see how to compute derivatives of polynomials. It turns out that computing derivatives of polynomials is very, very simple. Let's begin with two general properties of derivatives. So first of all, if you have two functions and you want to find the derivative of their sum, you just need to find the derivatives of the individual functions and then add them up. And of course, when I say the derivative of a function and I denote it by f of x, f prime of x and g prime of x, what I really mean is the derivative at a given number x. Okay, so the slope of the tangent to the graph at the point that is determined by x. Also, when I uh, multiply a function by a constant and I take its derivative, then this is simply the constant times the derivative of the function. So this will allow us to actually have to worry only about what the derivative of functions that look like uh, this would be, uh, because every polynomial can be composed of multiples, or can be written as the sum of multiples, of such uh, functions. Okay, so if somebody gives you the polynomial um, p of x is equal to 5x cubed uh, minus 3x squared plus 2, let's say, then you can think of it as 5 times x cubed plus negative 3 times x squared plus 2. So all you need to do is know what the derivative of this is, what the derivative of that is, then you will multiply it by five, then you will multiply the derivative of x squared by negative three, and then you will add <laughs> the derivative of two. Remember, we said that the derivative of the constant function is simply zero, so you don't have to add anything pretty much. We're, we're going to see examples of this in detail, but let's start with what the derivative of x to the n is. And pretty much, uh, let me just give you, let's start from the very beginning. So as I told you, the derivative of a constant function is zero. The derivative of the function x, again, the function x is a function whose graph is a straight line with slope one. So its derivative at any point will be the slope of that line, which is one. Okay, now the derivative of x squared is, so look, the exponent of this is two, right? So you take the exponent and you multiply it by one power less. Uh, so a power of x with one less, uh, with exponent uh, decreased by one. So it was x squared, you will multiply it by x, which is x to the first power. And you continue the same way. So the derivative of x cubed, is three times x squared, because x squared is one power less than x cubed. The derivative of x to the fourth is four times x cubed. The derivative of x to the fifth is five times x to the fourth. So in general, we might argue that the derivative of x to the n is simply n times x to an exponent which has been decreased by one. So how does this work for specific points? So for specific points, let's say that somebody tells you, uh, you have the function f of x equals x cubed. Uh, what is the derivative at two? Meaning uh, what is the slope of the tangent to the graph of the function at the point Two comma eight, so that would be the slope of the tangent. It's it's always a good idea to remember what the derivatives are. So slope of the tangent to the graph of the function at two, and what is the output of the function x cubed at two eight? Okay, so how do you find it? 
you say the general formula is f prime of x is three x squared. So the specific, for the specific number, f prime of two is going to be three times two squared, which is 12. Okay, so the derivative of uh, f at uh, two is equal to 12. So if you were to sketch the tangent at that particular point, then you would see that it has slope 12. So it would be a very, very steep tangent. And while we're at it, it might also be a good idea to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals x cubed at 2 comma 8. And the answer will be y minus the output of the function at that point, which is 8, being equal to the derivative of the function, we saw that this is 12, times um, x minus 2. And why is that? We're following the formula y minus f of a is equal to f prime of a times x minus a. This is the derivative of the function. This, the der this is the equation of the uh, tangent uh, to the graph of the function at the point a comma f of a. So this is the equation of the tangent. Okay, let's, let's do a simple example like this in order to uh, get the hang of it. So let's do the example f of x is equal to x to the fourth. Uh, find uh, f prime at negative one and the equation of the tangent to the graph of the function, at what point, at the point negative one, what is the output of the function f of x equals x to the fourth? What do, do you get if you plug in negative one? At the point negative one, one. Okay, so please pause the video and try to do it uh, the way we uh, showed. And Okay, so let's see how we do this. The derivative of f will be just four times, so the exponent times one power less, four times x cubed. So f prime at negative one will be four times negative one to the third power. Negative one to the third power is negative one. So four times negative one, which is negative four. Okay, so uh, we can notice here, nobody asked us to do that, but it's, it's useful to do so, that uh, since uh, f prime of negative one is less than zero, the graph of f of x goes down at negative one. And, and this is so cool because, you know, without even sketching anything, we can very easily guess whether the graph will be going up or down. And what is the equation of the tangent? The equation of the tangent will be y minus the output. The output is one, right? Is equal to the derivative, which is negative four times x minus one. Uh, I'm sorry, x minus negative one, so x plus one. And if you like, you can leave it like this or you can work it out. I mean, it's, it's not necessary to work it out, but this one minus four x minus four which makes it y is equal to minus four x minus three, okay? And this is the equation of the tangent. So this is the equation of the tangent. Okay, let's uh, gradually consider the, the general case. Before we consider the general case, let's go to um, the case where we take the power and multiplied by a number. So let's say that uh, we have f of x is equal to seven x squared. And we want to find 
the derivative of f, what is the derivative of f? So we said that in such a case, we just take the number seven and we multiply it by the derivative of x squared. And what is the derivative of x squared? Two x. So the answer will be 14 x. So if somebody asks you, what is the derivative of um, this function at negative three, for example, then the answer will be, I, I don't need to rewrite this. I can directly answer this by plugging negative three into the equation that I, into the formula that I just found, uh, which will be negative 42. Okay, so if somebody asked me to find the equation uh, of the tangent now, what would be the equation of the tangent? Y minus the output. What is the output? We never computed the output, but the output uh, F of uh, negative three is seven times nine, which is 63, right? So it will be Y minus 63 is equal to the derivative, which is negative 42 times X minus negative three, which is X plus three. So that's the equation of the tangent. Okay, let's do one more example like this. So let f of x be equal to um, six x cubed, find f prime of negative two and the equation of the tangent. At the point negative two, what is the output? If you plug in negative two, uh, you will get a negative 48. Okay. Uh, please pause the video and try to find the answer to this problem. I'll give you a couple of seconds. And here it is. Here's the answer. So what is the derivative as a formula? F prime of x is six times the derivative of x cubed. What is the derivative of x cubed? According to the formula we gave, it's the exponent three times one power less, three x squared. So this will be 18 x squared, right? So f prime of negative two is going to be, uh, I think if we do the math, it's going to be 72. Okay, so by the way, the graph of f goes up here. goes up at x equals negative two. So, um, and what is the equation of the tangent? So the tangent line will be given by y minus the output. We said the output was negative 48. So minus negative 48 will be y plus 48 is equal to the derivative, which we said was 72 times x minus negative two, so x plus two. And this is the equation of the tangent. Okay, so let's go to the most general case now where we have a full polynomial with multiple terms. So imagine that uh, you have, uh, let's say p of x to be five x cubed minus six x squared plus three x. Okay, and you want to find the derivative of this. So what did we say we do? We first find the derivative of x cubed. What is the derivative of x cubed? Three x squared. Then you find the derivative of x squared, which is what, two x. And then you find the derivative of x, which is what, one. And now you multiply each one of them by what number stands in front of it. So in front of uh, x cubed, you have five, right? So you will multiply this by five times, by five. So it will be five times three x squared. And in front of x squared, you have negative six. So you will multiply by plus negative six times two x. 
and in front of x you have three so you will multiply times three and so what is the answer the answer is 15 x squared uh, minus uh, 12 x plus three it might be a good idea to actually get used to to do this uh, directly without having to to go through this intermediate step let's do a, a couple of examples see if we can achieve that so um, let's say that we have p of x equals to 7x to the fourth plus uh, 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x plus 7. What is the derivative of this? What is the derivative of this? Well, the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. If you multiply 4x cubed by 7, uh, you will get 28x cubed. Uh, what is the derivative of x cubed? 3x squared. If you multiply it by 3, that will give you 9x squared. What is the derivative of x squared? 2x. If you multiply it by negative 6, that will give you negative 12x. The derivative of x is 1. So if you multiply it by 2, that will give you 2. And the derivative of the constant function is 0. So that will not contribute anything. Uh, how about you try one for yourself? So let's say that p of x is equal to uh, negative 5 uh, x to the fourth plus uh, 10 x cubed minus uh, 1 half x squared uh, plus 2. Pause the video and find p prime of x. Well, I'm giving you a couple of seconds. Let's see. So we're going to get the derivative of x to the fourth is minus is is uh, four x cubed. Four x cubed times minus five is negative twenty x cubed. The derivative of x cubed is three x squared. Three x squared times ten will be thirty x squared. Uh, the derivative of x squared is two x. Negative one half times two is negative one, so minus x. And the derivative of two is zero. There's nothing to put here. Let's do one more. P of x is equal to um, 15x cubed minus uh, 7x squared plus 5x minus 3. OK, pause the video and try to find the derivative of this. And the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, so this will be 45 x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x, so this will be minus 14x. The derivative of 5x is simply the 5 right in front, because the derivative of x is 1. And the derivative of negative 3 is 0. Now, let's solve a problem where um, we actually find uh, the derivative at a given point and the equation of the tangent. So. Let f of x be uh, 6x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. Uh, find f prime of negative 1 and the equation of the tangent. Uh, does the graph go up or down at x equals negative 1? Let's answer that question, too. So please pause the video and try to solve this problem. And here's the solution. The formula for the derivative first. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared multiplied by 6, and that will give you 18x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x multiplied by 5, that's minus 10x. The derivative of 2x is 2. 
and the derivative of the constant is zero. So what is f prime at negative one? F prime at negative one will be uh, 18 times negative one squared minus 10 times negative one plus two. So this will be uh, what, negative one square is one, so 18 minus 10 times negative one is plus 10. So 28 plus two, that's 30. And uh, the equation of the tangent will be y minus, okay, here we need to know the, uh, how much f of one, uh, negative one is, and f of negative one will be negative six, uh, minus five, minus 11, minus 13, plus one minus 12. So it's minus 12. So y plus 12 is equal to other derivative, which is 30 times x minus negative one, so x plus one, and that's the equation of the tangent. And you can see this tangent is going up. The same thing will be done by the graph because the slope is positive. So since f prime at negative one is equal to 30, which is greater than zero, the graph of f of x goes up for x equals negative one. And that's it. Uh, it would be a good idea to redo this example several times till you get very, very comfortable with uh, this notion. And that's it. Thank you for watching.